When you start writing a book, you have no idea how it will turn out. I suspect that is the same for a painter. They do not know if they are going to end up with a Mona Lisa or a dud. When I write, I do not have a detailed outline. I just have a general notion of the story. I do not plan the scenes. I just start writing and I'm active observer of the scene. I watch what the characters do and say, and then I respond to the situation and let the river flow where it wants to. That is a favorite saying of mine, to let the river flow where it wants to. This type of writing works great for me because I'm completely spontaneous. There is no force script. I love being lost in the zone, just writing away. Writing is such a pleasure for me. And this type of writing throws up surprises. It is very revealing. There are things in my head that even I did not know about. And that is the absolute beauty of this book. I have written about spiritual truths that have surprised me. I have never heard them before or read about them. I am baffled where these have risen. I am absolutely grateful that these spiritual truths have manifested themselves in the book. It's such a wonderment the messages that exist in the universe. This book has turned out to be such a great reminder. I wrote the book for the world to read, but I wrote it first for myself. I am the first reader. Every time I read the book, it leaves an impression on me. It reminds me of these greatest spiritual truths. I wrote the book, but when I read it, I read it just as a reader would. This book has already helped me. In the last three years, whenever I have faced challenges and I've been looking for a solution, I remind myself, follow what is within the book. It is in the book. This is my biggest litmus test. Can what is in the book help me? My book has become my teacher. When I started, I had no idea if I was creating a Mona Lisa or a dud. I did not care. I was just driven to write. I was compelled to write. I am grateful and humbled by these great spiritual truths that have come alive in this book. Today, as I read this book, I realize it will have more impact on mankind. It will transform more lives than I could have ever imagined. Thank you for listening. Let us all transform our lives by making spiritual progress. I, the soul, honor you, the soul. At your core, you are peace. Be who you are. Be peace. Be peace.